um, to make a statement. It is not Adam, but Adams. <laughs> Thank you very much, Director uh, Shekou. I want to start by acknowledging the, our timely convening here and to particularly appreciate that the clerk was well in advance here before this moment, which talks deeply to the importance he assigns to the capacity sustainability that the DG has stated here. I would begin my statement by saying that uh, this is not on behalf of the European Union, but as a technical support team here, uh, you know what we do. Ours is to complement, support, and push together the ambitions of the project, which is to help Parliament achieve what it wants in the areas of each of them we address. The question of sustainability has been uh, reiterated by the Director General, which talks very forcefully to why the clerk and the leadership of Parliament emphasize the development of the strategic plan. And I'm happy that Parliament has achieved this with a lot of input. All be the strategic plan delayed in its completion, but we have since started uh, its implementation. For which all of these activities that we are doing, including this one, are mirrored in that strategic plan. For any democracy to be effective, functional, Parliament has the central role in that. And for any Parliament and parliamentarians to be able to discharge their roles efficiently, effectively, to the interests of citizens, the parliamentary service, in this case I'm talking to the staff, cannot be divorced from that. And therefore, the need for these particular activities, which are seven in total, four of which have commenced. The four are, first is the corporate governance, uh, manual which is being developed by Professor Macau. The second is on public financial management, which of course you know is the heart of any prosperous society. Parliament has to hold the executive accountable and is, is only able to do that when it has the resources and the knowledge to do so. And therefore, the public financial management manual, which will be the second in line to this activity, is to assure that the parliamentary service, that is the parliamentary budget office and the leadership of parliament are well informed of and able to support the executive in executing its plans through oversight. The other and very important one would be the gender manual. Gender is cross-cutting. It's not a woman issue. It's not a children issue. It's not dis disabled people issue. It's a development issue. And therefore, for us to agree that we should have a gender empowerment manual and to ensure its implementation will adhere to what the executive wants in the gender, uh, the UA, gender empowerment and women's empowerment act, which was passed recently before we went on recess. So that third manual is to help Parliament play its role in enabling Sierra Leone achieve its ambitions in the area of uh, gender. And therefore, be ready as you are now to support all of this. The last but not least in the first four is the uh, legislative scrutiny manual. Any parliamentary staffer here knows that lawmaking is a core function of parliament. To do that in a way that the laws are not reviewed only too quickly is to be able to re review bills that come to the house, provide the necessary uh, research to MPs and to committees to do that. So this particular manual, the legislative scrutiny manual, will enable Parliament and the MPs in particular and the committees therefore to do their part in ensuring that bills that come to Parliament are passed with all the knowledge required for them to last the test of time. I should stress that the ambition will also be to enable Parliament initiate private members' bills and be able to push them through with the understanding that is needed between the legislature and the executive. So on this note, I want to again 
On behalf of my colleague, Honorable Kuyembe, and then Amadou, and then our uh, support staff, acknowledge that we couldn't have been able to have this go forward without the tremendous effort and support we have had from all the directories that we work with. We've enjoyed very cooperative work, and I'm very confident that uh, this project, which ends October 2023, will achieve its ambition with your support. On that note, I want to thank the clerk again for giving us the support and the resources that we need to do our work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Adams Fushay. And on that note, I will now invite our able chief administrator and the clerk of the parliament of the Republic of Australia and secretary.